Welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert, where I have a drone spawner that works. Um, so, I managed to find one of these uh, while I was out trying to hunt Nautilus and not having much luck. But then it turned out um, Nautilus wouldn't spawn. I mean, uh, Drowned wouldn't spawn. Um, I even like tried putting the spawner like underwater over here, but obviously it wasn't meeting the spawn conditions. And I could see the chucking a dragon egg on a spawner. That was enough to get the spawner to work. So unfortunately, because that's so far away, it's not actually spawning when we're down there. But there's one other thing we can use on a spawner. That is a nether star. Because I'm hoping that occasionally these drowned are going to spawn with Nautilus shells. I mean, so far not so good, but we can hope. We can hope. Well, I hope this is how this works. There we go. I've done it wrong. <laughs> uh, maybe you need to be higher up. Maybe he needs to be higher up. Oh, that's been fixed so that doesn't work. Well, uh, alright. <laughs> oh, we got him. Oh, we're gonna die. 29 seconds of weather. Well, that didn't, that didn't quite go to plan, but we got the nether star. Hopefully. We can put this on here. And now we should constantly have drowned spawning. And I've already put sugar on that spawner, so it should be pretty fast. Hey, wait, how did you get over there? Hey, they sometimes spawn with Nautilus shells. Nice. But, uh, yeah. Alright. We should get tridents eventually, too. I need to get out of here. Well, it does work. Uh, baby zombies are a little bit of an issue, but yeah. Sweet. Uh, we can get Nautilus shells from our mob farm now. Which uh, didn't seem the fastest, and I have occasionally seen <laughs> Drowned getting out, but that's pretty cool. But that's not what we're doing today. What we're doing today is bee stuff. Now, I did harvest this before. Why do I keep sitting down? Oh, that button. Uh, harvested this before, and the bees don't like it. No, they didn't mind at that time. They got very angry last time I did that. I mean, luckily they were contained in here. But, uh, we can now start thinking about getting some storage drawers. Um, we've got a few honeycombs. Now, can we turn these back into honeycombs? We can. Let's do that. So, there's a bunch of scented sticks. Um, and yep, my inventory is still a horrible mess. But if we look at some basic storage drawers, we just need these things. Um, and they need any wood by the look of it, which is cool. And they need these scented sticks, that's that's mostly why we needed the bees. Uh, and canvas, which was a bunch of straw and beeswax. Now we can get that from a centrifuge. Um, it looks like we can get it from a manual centrifuge, and we can whip one of these up. Not too bad. We'll probably we'll probably do that. Um, get rid of some of these other things, uh, or we can buy blocks of it, which is pretty cheap now. Well, I thought I had emeralds. Well, we can. We can. Like I can go uh, harvest some of my. Oh, why are all my waypoints re-enabled? And yes, somebody was uh, saying that I should clear all my death markers. These actually aren't death markers. Um, those are all like areas where there was Tetra stuff. Uh, in case I want to go back and get them. That, that's that's what that's there for. It looks like our source is full. Tetas become emeralds. Emeralds become beeswax. And uh, 
There we go, 54 beeswax. Uh, and then we just need a bunch of straw, which we get with like a little knife thing. I about cutting grassy crops and plants with a knife. So not this knife, but I do have a knife here. I guess I have to go... Go stab a bunch of grass. Straw. And I don't want to pick up anything except for straw. A bunch of those. A bunch of those. Somewhere I have planks. 17 storage drawers. And then I looked at like the drawer controller. And uh, I mean this isn't too bad, but this. We we would need some stuff. We we would need some stuff. It's mostly like these things. Which need these things, which actually you can trade for some other stuff for the villagers. So we might get one of these villagers uh, in the future. Um, because this looks like it might be a little bit annoying to craft, like you need plastic, or we could, we could trade with villagers. The only thing we couldn't do was this PCB. Uh, which I, I imagine you can't trade for that. The chest pile is gone. Um, I actually just realized I potentially still have some blocks in here. But uh, yes, just spent many hours tidying things up, um, processing all the random ores that I found and all the random chests that I had, and uh, things are much tidier. So I know people have been asking for a world download, but I really wanted to sort that absolute nightmare of junk. So we've got this situation. Not ideal, not ideal. I still need to finish filling in the wall. Um, yeah, we kind of, kind of still have the similar situation, but this is more organized. So we got like mob drops, food, uh, tools, and treasury type kind of things that I found. We got an enchanting chest. This is a junk chest. This is also a junk chest. Uh, treasure chest although some of this is kind of junk like that's that's not really treasure but uh, things are getting full we got plants chest number one plants chest number two and then a few bits and pieces spawner sitting up here and yes and all the different backpacks that i've gotten actually i've been making sure i carry iron backpacks with me just because they hold so much um oh i got two beds Oh, I moved my actual bed. Um, we're going to have a bed down here. That's now my home. Luckily we built right at spawn, so yeah. Um, and also if anybody knows how to get rid of these annoying waystone waypoints that keep getting put everywhere. Um, it is actually disabled in the config for waystones, so it shouldn't add them. But I, I don't know how to remove them once they're there. But anyhow, yes, so it's still pretty annoying to go through and like, oh, if I need, like, oh, I need some basalt and oh, and then now I need some stone and then, oh, now I need a little bit of marble. We do have to like go to all of these chests, but some of these are like absolutely chocker full of stuff, like dirt's full. So we've got, we got an overflow chest, which I was going to put this stuff in, but as we can see, it, it doesn't fit. So we do need another overflow chest. Which does, of course, <laughs> have the risk of things getting messy again. But, ah, oh, that is so much better. That is so much better. But yes, uh, to get all these storage drawers, we did, of course, need to do some bee stuff. So, while I was doing all of that, I also set up some more bee farms. Well, these little bee, bee areas. Um, all smoked up with uh, campfires. Not that they can get out anyway, and we've got a efficiency for soul down done breaking three pair of shears. Which is not bad. So obviously this this isn't a great way of doing this. Wait, there's no bees in there. Oh, there is no bees in there. Legitimately no bees. Um, and I did go to the end to get obsidian for all those obsidian chests and caught a few end bees as well, and there we go. Bees. Bees. So we're not uh, doing any of the centrifuging yet, which we should. 
because we'll go away from the noisy bees. Um, if we were to centrifuge um, this, we can get experience bottles and rainbow runes. Which, right. I think, okay, so this is used, this is used in some stuff. Oh, you get the, oh, I don't think I'd want to do that. Tier 1 dimensional storage stabilizer. I don't know what that is, but that sounds nice. Oh, and the rainbow rune just gives you like, rainbowy enchanted armor, which, I mean, I guess we could do. I guess we could do. But I think it's time to whip up a centrifuge, which should be pretty simple. The manual one, at least. Um, what is stopping us from getting the automatic one? Because obviously that would be better. We need immersive engineering. Or, or, we just need this sequenced assembly. Insulating glasses, man, I have some cacti. Dust wouldn't be too bad, and it's any glass. Dielectric paste. Silicon, we just smelt nether quartz. Tar. So we would need a centrifugal separator. Or we could be getting oil. Yes, so we need to work on the circuit backplane and steel all right okay steel we could obviously get the arc furnace route we could get into immersive blast furnace um i don't know if we can make so we could get a steel honeycomb from a steel bee alloy bees are created by running the base bee and appropriate honeycomb blocks through an induction smelter Right, and we did come across this. Uh, see, there's the recipe. So, like, nickel and iron become. So, I would suspect that, like, iron. Coal coke makes a steel bee. There we go. A forest bee, which we have, and a sandy bee would give us an iron bee. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we'll go capture. I've got forest bees. I need to go find a sandy bee. Which I think we saw them floating around in the Aten. And the other one was the a Coal Coke. Which I've got three Coal Coke. And that requires the Coke oven. Which, if we were to find out how to make a Coke brick, I think. So we could do it that way. Or. Right, I remember this. So water, clay. Cinder flour, which we can get now, and basalt powder, which we can get with basalt. So if we were to grab, if we were to grab a stack of this, maybe just one stack, and one stack of basalt, and we check them in here, this will get us cinder flour. Nice. And then we can just do a mixer thing. Uh, so yeah, that won't be too bad. Let's let's get that stuff. And pretty easy to get bees. And with these sandy bees, uh, I have set up an area over here. So we need a couple of forest bees. I'll grab these two. Come into this uh, temporary bee breeder, and I might even check a flower or two in here um just to discourage the bees from running away oh, which means we probably want a bee nest as well there's a bee in that one i don't know how there's a bee in that one but there is uh and there's bees in that one okay so we will we'll have a beehive in here i don't I don't know if we really need it. Um, it's not going to hurt. So if there was a sandy bee and a forest bee in here. Forest bees breed with wood. Sandy bees breed with sand. So you and you 
should make an iron bee. And they did. Cool, and actually... So these guys are bred. So if we got... I'm assuming they have like a breeding cooldown. Forest bee. This bee. Make... Make more bees. Nice. So that is going to get us iron bees, and then we still need coke bricks. It shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, we've got cinder flower. Was this used for anything else? Yes. Blaze cake bases. Yeah, we do want them at some point. And I did happen to read that mechanism tanks are the standard recipe. And that will actually be very handy. Um, you know what? Uh, oh, we don't quite have enough to make double. I guess we'll we'll make this much. Now we have 32 buckets of water, and I'm assuming we can just we can put water in there. Cool. I mean, let's just try it out. So it was two of everything except cinder flour. Oh, it's the other way around. Okay. So two of that, two of that, and one cinder flower. Oh, it did, it did turn up, but I just didn't see it. Cool. And that gets us one coke brick. Oh, and we still have to do sequenced assembly. And we could have done blast bricks, but that needs cold coke. No. Okay. So we need a bunch of whatever these things are. And we need construction paste. Which means we need this. Oh, which isn't too bad. Clay, sand, and lapis. Cool. And we could set up a machine for this, which might be good. Uh, back to crafting the rest of this. And <laughs> bulk crafting a lot of this stuff. Uh, but we need four deployers. Um, we'll stick with four for now. And we'll, we'll deal with... Get another one of my bags for uh, create stuff we're not quite using just yet. But undoubtedly we will. And then it looked like we needed like a little a thing we have to press it on. Maybe we can just get away with belts. Um, all right. And then we probably need to craft another water wheel because they don't seem to be powerful enough to like do multiple things. Okay. So still a bit of a mess. Had to, to knock out a bit of the wall. Um, decided just to chuck it here, but we're obviously going to need a big factory for all of these machines. Uh, but for now this should be okay, so I think this is going to work. So we start with paper, so we put paper in here. Um, now unfortunately, I don't know how we time this. So we start with paper, the problem is if I put paper in here, it automatically keeps going. Which is an ideal. Um, we could actually lock the hopper. Yeah, and then it doesn't go on until uh, until we stop applying. And we're gonna do. Make sure. Remember, we'll check the construction paste in here. Actually, this should work then. It's not working. Uh, this might actually be too low. Alright. Which might be why this didn't place things like I thought it was going to. I think this is going to run into the issue I was worried about. So if we put that there. It doesn't just place it. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, perfect. 
Well, it kind of works. Oh, it's a partial coat brick. Right, okay. Oh, that's not ideal. Interesting, that's cool. A partial coat brick. So yeah, you can't grade them off early. Oh, they have to go through... That was what that meant. I saw the thing that said times four. Right, we have to repeat the entire sequence four times. So let's stop you then. Because we're going to run out of, of this stuff. And this will be the last time through for these coke bricks. We don't quite have enough, but things are getting processed. And I am making a bunch of extra ones. Uh, not entirely intentionally. Uh, although I did see we do need coke bricks for uh, blast bricks, for the blast furnace. Now, what this is used for... Okay, so it is used in some other blocks. Okay, no, so we will need them. So they're not going to be a waste, and we're probably going to want to automate <laughs> much better than this, uh, a way of making these blast bricks. Oh, this makes, makes way more than I thought it did. Well, we can have multiple blast furnaces. I guess I didn't read that recipe properly. So, okay. All the partial ones must be a single coke brick. And then the final one, like the final time it triples it. I'm picking, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Okay, we can get three blast furnaces. Not blast furnaces, coke ovens. All right, it's done. It's done. The final piece of the puzzle is the engineer's hammer. And hey, that was a quest. And we may as well grab, actually I need, let's grab three lots of coal. And I've extended the house. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, kind of maybe a little bit weird that it goes so far out this way, but here we go. Three coke ovens because I accidentally made that many bricks and might actually be kind of handy. Ah, because now we're going to be getting coal coke, which means, which means we can, f we should be able to get, once we have an induction smelter, the block of coal coke, a bee jar and iron honeycomb and we have iron bees now. I just need to set up that harvesting and that'll get us steel bees. And then we never actually have to make a blast furnace. And I think it's probably going to be quicker. Quicker to use the steel bees. But, uh... Whoa. Whoa. What a mission. But I think that's a pretty good effort. And, uh... Yeah. Nice. We're going to be getting into some more tech uh, in the next few episodes. Because we, we need to generate power now. Should be fun. All right. It's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and, uh, world download will be uploaded with this episode but it might take a while to get approved so yeah uh see ya